Hi, it's Toby's Grandma from Grandma's Toys. Would you like to have your own personalized mouse pad? Something you can make for yourself or a friend or family member? These are so easy to do and you can make them in any pattern you would like. I'll show you how. It only calls for just a few materials. A mouse pad, maybe one you have at home, or you can buy one at the store for just a couple of dollars. White glue, I like Mod Podge, but you can use any kind of white glue or Elmer's. And a sponge for spreading your glue. A pair of fabric scissors. And a small piece of fabric, but just big enough to cover your mouse pad. Maybe you've got some leftover fabric at home from another project. Before you make your first cut in your fabric, place it over the mouse pad and adjust it so that you have a nice scene to look at. I want to have Sisters Forever in the middle of my mouse pad because I'm making it for my sister with the pictures around the side. So I want to make sure that I get that scene before I cut. I don't want to have bits and pieces of Spongebob and bits and pieces of Patrick I want to have the whole character on my mouse pad. So think about that before you cut your piece of fabric. Cut your piece of fabric just a little bit bigger than your mouse pad. I have my fabric over the top of the mouse pad where I would like it. So I'll turn it over and just cut about an inch all the way around. doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to trim all this excess off. Next, turn it over and use your sponge to spread your white glue all over the mouse pad. It's got a soft, squishy surface and the glue will soak in. So work quickly and don't rub the, the glue down into the pad, just smear it over the top. When you have glue all over the mouse pad, I've got a little bit on the countertop, but that's what's so nice about white glue, Elmer's glue or Mod Podge, is it'll rinse right off. Lay your fabric down and smooth it out over the glue. Try not to bunch it or stretch it. You'll feel the moisture of the glue coming through the fabric a little bit and that's good. When it's all pressed down and you think that the fabric is attached everywhere, then you will need to set this aside for about two hours for it to completely dry. I have another one I started about two hours ago and the glue is dry, so we'll continue with this one. I'll take my fabric scissors, turn it over, and carefully cut away any fabric that is not glued down as close as I can to the mouse pad. Being careful not to cut the mouse pad. almost all the way around. Isn't that adorable? If over time you find that the fabric is starting to lift it all around the edges, just go back anytime and put a little more glue in and glue it back down. Just like that. This covered mouse pad project is fun and so easy to do. It makes a nice gift for someone because it's personal and you made it yourself. If you would like to know how to make a journal or diary to match your mouse pad, check my channel, Grandma's Toys, for easy instructions. If you want to see more projects that you can make yourself, 
click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching Grandma's Toys.